Yo, fuck it is, man. It's big L's of this bitch, Irby. Shoe dig is bad or dog. All right, real quick, bro. Let's get straight to the beans of rice, you feel me? Real quick. And let the record show that this is not a safe place. The truth is out here. All my words got squatter rights. Before I get into what I want to speak on, let me say this, bro. Because I, I want to say something to D.I. to Henny Man. Hopefully, he see this video. You feel me? Bro, I res listen, bro. I respect your opinions. I respect your perception. Like, I respect your morals and your principles. Like, I, I just... You know what I'm saying? Like, I want you to know that I respect how you feel about this Chris Unbiased situation. But I'm going to keep in the bane with you, and this is just how I feel. I kind of feel like you conflating how you personally feel about Chris Unbiased and your, like, your personal perspective of his case on a general public. And I, and I know you said, like, bro, this is how I feel. Like, I ain't saying everybody else got to feel like this. This is how I feel. This is my feelings. I know you said that. But you got to understand, like, you're D.I. the Henny Man. <laughs> you feel me? It's battle rap trap. We got the streets. Like, you got influence. You can influence people. Like, like people take a liking to you. So, even when you think it's just your opinion, your opinion could sway somebody else's opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to say you're wrong for uh, 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 feeling the way you feel. Like, I just got finished watching uh, You Won't Cap shit. I believe that video got put up yesterday or some shit. I just got finished watching that. So that's really what prompted me to make this. But, um, cause I, I'm, I'm keeping it big with you. Like, that was wild to say, like, even, even if this nigga, like, in spite of how I feel about the facts of this case or how I feel about Chris Unbias or the victims or whatever, like, to say that even if a nigga get acquitted, like, even if they drop all the charges that's pending against this nigga. He beat his trial. Even if that happens, he's still guilty in my eyes. I do not fuck with that nigga. He's still guilty. I'm going to keep it a big with you, bro. That's crazy. You feel me now? I will say this. Because I like I get what you were saying. Like the point you made about like the like 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 the like the courts could render you innocent and you could be guilty. And vice versa, like they can say you guilt, they they can say you are innocent and you can be guilty. I get it. I'm gonna keep it a bay with you. I had a situation a few years ago where I had to plead guilty to some shit I didn't do. Like I was guilty. I was guilty of something, but I wasn't guilty. Like they really like remixed the entire situation. Like I'm reading the police report. And I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't do any of this. Like I like this like. No, this ain't it. You feel me? But I had to plead guilty because it was my word against against that word. And and I and I was going to lose. The public defender told me like, "Bro, you're going to lose." You feel me? And I was like looking at like 3 to 5 years. So, I had to I had to cop out, plead, take a guilty plea and get you feel me? 3 years probation. You get what I'm saying? But I, the point is I had to plead guilty for some shit I wasn't guilty of. So you're right. You're right about that. Just because the courts say something, that don't mean shit. We know the courts is crooked, bro. But in spite of that, in spite of me understanding that, it just kind of still feels personal to me. I'm just like, not me. I'm talking about what you say, your perspective of it and your feeling. It's just, it just, it just feels personal. And shit like this, let's keep it a bean. Shit like situations like this play on our emotions. Like, let's just keep it a bean. Because it could be other shit that influence how you feel. Like, for example, you could take it like you could have an... I use you as an example. You probably got hella daughters. Like, I don't know how many kids you got. I know you said you got hella kids. But you could probably have more daughters than you got boys. So when you hear about a nigga taking advantage of women, that shit rubs you the wrong way. That shit really makes you feel a certain type of way. Because it's like, I got little daughters that's going to get older eventually. And if a nigga dead, think he going to do... What Chris Unbias did to these bitches to my daughter, you gonna die. So that, like, you feel me? A lot of shit in society play on our emotions, and they know that. They know that. But I ain't gonna lie. This was, this is what really made me want to do this video in closing. This is what really made me want to do this video. When you said Chris Unbias is a dangerous man, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> That shit was funny, but then like, what's 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 I stop laughing? I'm like, he's dead serious. This nigga is dead drop serious. Catch him when he fall. This nigga like, that was crazy to me. Eddie, you know I fuck with you. That he's a dangerous man. I feel like 
you're playing into, you know, the narratives and, you know, the shit that they try to create for black men, especially in situations like this. Let me give you the quick example, bro. I don't know if y'all familiar with this, bro. The nigga, y'all know the nigga Mr. Cool went to jail for rape, bro. Came home, right? And another story, he tried to get his bad book for rape. This nigga got booked for rape like three times. But I'm telling you, one of these situations was not legitimate, bro. He he met a bitch at his show, right? She was with her homegirl. He fucked the bitch. The bitch got caught. The bitch got caught. And instead of just telling her man, telling her husband, like, I'm sorry, baby, I, I, I fucked off with Mystical. She lied and said he raped her. Only to save her ass, like, to protect our relationship. She lied and said this nigga raped her. And, you know, of course, our man, even if he don't believe it, he want to believe it. It's his girl. So, you know I mean? They went full blast with that shit, and Mr. Goo went to jail. But the best friend, the friend that was dead, she put her homegirl on blast. Like, she's lying. She fucked Mr. Goo. She's only lying because she got caught. Her boyfriend caught her. So, she's lying saying she got raped. You get what I'm saying? But if you let the world... You get what I'm saying? If you if you let them create the narrative and paint the picture, they're gonna say that they'll say that Mystical is a dangerous man. Like they they'll same thing with Bill Cosby, R. Kelly. They try to make them seem like they're monsters. Like they're like the most deviant people in the world. Like they're just super evil. So when you said that, it just like kind of remind me of how they be talking in the in the in the, in the, in the words they choose to use when they describe men dealing with these kind of situations. Like I wouldn't say he, I don't. I don't think he's a dangerous man like that. Like you really said it. Like this nigga is like a serial rapist. Like and I, they said he didn't put his ass on bitches. I don't know. I just I could never look at the nigga as being a dangerous man in that context, bro. But like I said, you entitled to feel the way you want to feel. It's just like this should be crazy. But I think I, I think the foundation of your arguments and. How you feel about this is personal. I could be wrong. That's just how I feel. I feel like I don't know if y'all had like some kind of quarrel back in the day. Y'all had arguments or y'all was beefing or whatever. It, it just seems personal. It seems like you got a personal discrepancy with this nigga. And I just don't want your personal discrepancy to influence how other people feel. And sway other people opinion. So that's just that was just my purpose of making this video. But shout out to Henny Man. Shout out to Caps. Shout out to Chris Unbiased. It's big L's in this bitch. Listen, bro, it's a peasy world, bro. It's a fucking peasy world. You niggas better wake up and die in your sleep, man.